Good afternoon. We're here in this beautiful home with this lovely lady and we are here to hear a little bit more about a sad story that took place some six years ago on the anniversary of Hurricane Hati. So with that, let's start this interview. What is your name? Uh, and my name is Lupita Carmen Ferreira. How old are you today? I am 69 years old. Okay, Miss Lupita. When and where were you born? I was born in Belize City, 1952, on the 7th of August. Okay. What are your mother and father's names? My father, name is Delfino Santos, and my mother, Antolina Talano, both of them of, this, of the, their disease. Okay. Now, let's hear a little bit more on your experience on Hurricane Hati. Before and during and after that ugly storm. Tell us a little okay. bit more. Uh, we went to live in the island in the month of June, 1961. I was, you know, my mother and four of us, four of her daughter. My older sister, she was 12, I was nine, and the third sister is six, and the fourth, four years old. We went to live in this island of Kikaka, a very beautiful island. Very humble people. All those people in the island was born and grew there. Beautiful. Everything calm. Everything so. Lifestyle of everybody was the same. Okay. Um, well, in those times, the bad weather started July, um, September. Then we heard that the storm was coming. In those days, Everybody, well, not everybody, few people had radio, but it was battery. The hurricane wasn't monit was monitored like now. So we had a storm coming, and it got to hit Belize and the islands, August, September, and we are waiting. But where I found, but where I go, but when the month of October came in, then the storm is coming, it's coming, okay. Um. We, when we get prepared, because we got to move from where we're living, we are living in a touch house, small touch house, and most of my beside. Well, we had to leave because the, the weather is coming, start raining. And by experience, I know that when a hurricane is hitting a country or island, no lightning, no thunder, no rain and breeze. Rain, rain and breeze. When hurricanes start coming, that we leave our little home to go, we go to shelter in the Catholic school. We go in the, in the area of the north part of the island. We are leaving to go. My mother, no, a friend that was living there. It's, it's more or less her age. We are leaving to go. We pack our little stuff. Who we are going to leave to go to the school? My mother meet her on the, on the way in the corner by the way. She asked her, where are you going? I'm going to the school with my children because that's the only place we go to shelter. She told her, don't go there because the school is not strong enough. And she said, but in those times, you have to go and ask the people at their home if you could shelter there. I know everybody was living a good life as before. Nobody had big houses, no more house. Everybody was poor, but there was a level of everything, no? She said, no. He said, you going with me. If you have space for me, you will have space for you. He said, I can't go with you. I ask Mr. Antonio Vegas that you want to go there with your children. No, let's go. Okay, we went. We went there. But going on the road, we look at the back, back pier of the island. We see the sea to the back coming up in the island, and the front coming. Everything was... As an island, everything you see wrong, you see, all you see dirt floating and, stuff, and water as in our knee, because we're small. Well, we went in the shelter, we got in, and the rain, and the rain starting at midnight. High, high house, it was a high house, nine feet from home. 
we have to go upstairs, climb the steps, and went in. And most of the windows was locked with, with board, the gentleman, nail boards from outside. And we get in the house, we, we see in a room, and ladies and children in a room. So there were a lot of families in yes, that house? many families. It was packed. The house was a big house, but the house was so packed, packed, packed. And they were asserting. We all we la ladies and children that we are small and many other ladies that we are but in our room. Pack. And we've met I we can remember because the gentleman they carried the radio. But then we couldn't get the reception gone because once the no parent but to die, so we don't know exactly what happened. So we're there to face this. This is not a nice thing to feel and experience. This is a Oakley, Oakley, in an island, very and sad. Well, the weather started, and that house rocking like a like a like a hammock, I would say, moving from one side to the next, moving and um, screeching and noise. The waves are coming from the reef, huge waves. We well, we didn't see it, but we feel it. Because they have said that the hurricane is going to bring waves up to 30, 40, or 50 feet of waves. You imagine that wave coming from the sea. We only have rattling of water coming. And that house was exactly in front of the beach. And we are cheering and we are, we are crying. Our mother or the ladies in, the, in that room, everybody's praying. We have flashlights. We can't have candles or nothing else, flashlights. <laughs> And the screeching of that house was nothing good to feel and and see. We can we can see. Suddenly, we heard a big noise inside the house. Some things of the house fly off with the breeze, strong breeze, and the water pour in, and the, the ceiling, that cellotex ceiling, so the cellotex collapsed right in, and water. That house was so high that. Water was in that house, we up to my knee, and we are staring, we are small. And my mother came back out of us, and we had to water in that house. Oh my God, I know, here the, the house is screeching and screeching, moving from one side to the next. We are packing there, and we are almost knocking one another in there. The men then, the fathers, the men they're in another space. Oh my it was like 12 hours and hours that, that storm hit. Finally, we heard we heard stop. We see lightning and thunder. We heard we see lightning and thunder coming. We said, "Thank God, the water's passed." But four or five in the morning, um, when everybody say it's over, many people think that when it get calm, we say it's over. No, the 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 the, um, the after effects. The after after and the after claps after the hurry is coming again. So what do you do? The gentleman, they come out, open a door, and went out to see what's happening. And when we hear the rattling, they say, because we are inside, the ladies are the and the, 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 the men, they say, get in the police, get inside, because the, the after clubs of this hurricane is coming back again. They say that they see the rattling, and they look out on the, on the water at the reef. Mountains of water is coming, foaming, and that comes with a pressure to hit again. That silence for an hour wasn't that the hurricane is over. They have the clubs coming, everybody getting back again, and the rain started and the breeze, but then it was morning already. But finally, when I said lightning and thunder, okay, start constantly, constantly. when they start, the, the, the breeze start, stop, and the rain stop. When we finally come out of that house, and we look outside, planting trees, coconut trees, the little streets of the island, we don't know what is street, what is land, because in those times, nobody fenced their yard. All the yards are open, okay. Well, but that, we all cry. We cry, we cry, because the, little, the house that we were living, it was full of sand. It was sand, it was ground sand. But after the hurricane, everything collapsed a little, and the sand, heap of sand like a mountain in there. Many houses break down. Many people have some little grocery shops, collapsed, everything done. So what happened 
to the to the school okay. that you were supposed after, to go there. Uh -huh. After this happened, well, the gentleman there, the one seeking the island, go here and there, see what happened, who died when they went to the school. Not of peace, not of piece of lumber or zinc in the school. A few posts, post, yeah, posts where we said the house was set on. Some of them stayed up, but with a heap of sun around it that keep it that they didn't break off. But nothing what you call wall, lumber, zinc, doors, bell. That school I can remember. It was almost like St. Peter's School. Before I know if St. Peter's School is constructed over, but it's not like that. None of this. Right there on the final, 14 people died from that school. They drowned. A lady, she denied her four, a, a husband and wife with five children but there. Only the husband and the oldest son survived. The mother with the other four drowned. It. Another family that I know, two half children drowned it in this. Another lady, she survived, her three daughters died. Another family that I know, one daughter died. In the midst of the hurricane of that night, those girls, the water, the, the waves were so high. The, the sea, the sea waves were so high. They come and they go. They come and they go. But in those, in that night that that hurricane was hitting this family, the girls had swimming in the dark, finding somewhere to pull and they feel branches of things. They hung on a palm, the palm of a coconut tree. Two girls, two sisters. Her father related that to to your parents? No, really no. They were, they were neighbors. They were people from the same island. People will have lived there also. Okay. We know them. Two of the daughters joined it. They, they were, they stood up on a coconut tree. So when the waves, the water went down, some of them, they find them without clothes naked because the, 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 the water take off everything, tear off things from them and one of the girls down there. Okay, that disaster, when everything was clear, the government, police find out who, where the need is, who is the island, yes, and Kikakar, well, well we live in Kikakar, so that's what we know what happened. And San Pedro too, they, but you know, we're more concerned for a island because we're living there. Okay, so now, after that, helicopters used to come and assist us, so give us food, food, and clothing and blankets and so What kind of army were they? They were the, um, um, the British, British. British British Army in those times. It was that we were in British on the rest of those times. Okay. British Army came in helicopter. And at the football field, because they had a football field in Little Island, right there they stopped and we went to our food, food food. We got corned beef, choco milk, potato in packing powder and that was able to make. I think uh, I tried. I think more than a month or two, two months straight, they give us food every 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 two every two weeks because it was every week. They give us a month for the last one or two weeks, and we will get food. From there, they, they continue giving us, but then they, they come and they, the chairman of the village receive the food and they carry it to the community center because the island had a community center. It was a long -term center. So we got in line to get our food because the first time the helicopter came and they landed at this football field, well, everyone, everybody won. And everybody can get two, two of this, two of that. People were in need, People right? Were very in need that we need, we need. So I will get, I will get, my sister will get, and then some father will get. So it was not organized because we were so desperate and really, really. But that, huh, that was so sad.